Hello, friends. Welcome back. KJ4YZI, Vero Beach, Florida. And I'm not done with this radio yet. I have showed previous videos on this radio here or there, touching on it. In fact, this is the third time I've owned this radio. And I said that in the last video when I showed that this time I bought it with all the accessories and got all the stuff for it. And I like this radio. But then started going back to Winlink and ICOM stuff and D-Star. So we're going back now to the Yaesu handheld, the FT. 2DR, and I'm going to show you another interesting fact here of what you could do with a radio like this. And the topic here is called APRS Link. Now, you may be familiar with APRS, and that's one reason I like this radio because it has APRS built in and it's very useful. And there's a lot of inf information online about APRS, but APRS Link takes the WinLink and APRS and merges them together. So I just did a couple of videos on WinLink on HF and VHF, and you can check those out. And WinLink is another way for emergency or for fun to send emails over radio when you don't have a computer, or if you have a computer but you don't have internet. So this will allow you with APRS Link to connect the two so where you can, and when you get an email in your WinLink, you can get it on your radio and it'll alert you, hey, you have a WinLink in your inbox and you can read it and reply to it. So there's some limitations because you, you know, this isn't designed to take over your, your main email, okay? It's designed for very short messages over email to be had in the, e in the field or in areas that you may be using it when you don't have internet or your computer or an HF radio set up. So we're going to check out APRS link and I'll show you how to get into it and what it looks like on the radio so you can just get a brief synopsis of it. And another thing you can do with this FT2D is APRS link with WinLink over APRS. Let's check it out. Ham Radio Concepts. The place to come for amateur radio videos. All right, a, a summary real quick before we get into the radio. APRS Link is a CMS-hosted gateway providing a link between the APRS system and WinLink global radio email system. It monitors all the APRS traffic gated to the Internet worldwide and watches for special commands that APRS users will send from your radio such as these commands down here, we'll show you. Uh, read short email messages from that are sent to your WinLink address. Send short email addresses or email messages to any valid email address or WinLink user. Be alerted and so on. So you could even query APRS link for information of the closest WinLink packet station. If you're unfamiliar with what's closest to you, it can send it back to you. So picture APRS messaging with a little bit of WinLink tied into that. Now it does mention... There's a special, very, excuse me, very special capability for the Kenwood series like the D7 Alpha, uh, the uh, TM D700, and the D710 radios, so you can send and receive email right from the front of the radio without a PC. Now, I can do that with my FT2DR, so I'm not sure if this is out of date or if there's even more special functionality with the Kenwood radios, but we'll have to find out in the future. So, the main thing you need to know is this, your login and the commands. The login was a little tricky for me for the very first time. Now the first time you're going to log in will initiate the, the sequence. And what you're going to do, and I'll show you on the radio right now here as soon as I get through this, you're going to send any message, any characters to the APRS link server and it's going to come back with a response and it's a six character response to the login challenge. Now where that threw me off was it sent me three numbers. For instance like 612. In this case, for an example, login challenge is 425. You're going to get that back in a message, and you're going to say, what the heck do I do with 425? So basically, you've already set up your win link already from a RF. Now, you have to initiate and have a win link address, and the only way you can do that is to send a win link email over RF only. This is to keep spam and everybody else that doesn't belong out of the system. So it's going to send back three numbers. And those three numbers correspond to your WinLink password. For instance, 
if it sends back 425 and your password is ABC123, 425 represents 4 being the fourth character of your password, which would be 1. 2 would represent the second character, which would be B, lowercase b. And 5 would indicate 2. So the first three would be 1, B, 2. All right? Then you add three more letters to it for the password. So you can do 1, B, 2, and then uh, A, B, C, you know? And you're going to add three letters to it, and it's going to come back and say, welcome. So let's switch to that right now, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you're going to go to your messages in your FT2DR. Go to message list and create a new message, and you're going to send it to WLNK-1. So you, you put in, that's WinLink for short, WLNK, and then go over, and it'll give you the option, pick dash one, dash two, dash three. You want to send it to dash one. And you can send any message to this for the first time. And keep in mind, you also have to have beaconed one time from your radio so that it knows your call sign, that you're on RF, your, your you know position, and all that. So you have to beacon once, a standard APRS beacon so that the system knows where you are. Then send any message to WLNK-1, and it might take a couple minutes. It's going to come back with a response with that three-number challenge for your password. So you'll see some other stations come through. It's got to wait till it comes back from the Internet, and you can see there, you see the flashing light on top? That means I have a message. So it's blinking, it's telling me, and there it is. Login 521. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a message back. I'm going to reply to that, and I'm going to enter my fifth character, my second character, my first character, and then three more characters and send it back. And there is my message. So the little light flashes up top here, the LED when you get a message. And there's my message. Took about 30 seconds. So I'm going to open that up. What's it say? Hello, KJ4YZI-7. So it took my password and says, hello, you're logged in. All right, so now that I have a login, I'm connected. The usable commands, for instance, on this page here, shows you uh, a demonstration or an example of what you could use for commands. And I could also type in a question mark or H, and it'll come back and give me all those commands uh, as a help file and tell me what I can do. So, for instance, I want to display a list of pending WinLink messages. So I'll just send an L in the message. Okay, so you see I sent an L. Now it should come back with another message uh, or APRS link message and Tell me how many messages I have waiting. At that point, when the messages come back, it'll, it'll give you up to uh, five and a list. And what I can do is respond back and put R for read with a two, R2. And it's going to come back and read line two or email two. So it's not, there you go, there's a message. See it flashing on the top. WinLink 2000 testing from Illinois. So somebody sent me a message um, from Illinois. They must have saw the video and they're testing it. Now if I want to reply back, I could uh, reply to that message. Here's another one that came in, another message. So I have two, and you can see here this is number two with the parentheses. So I had one come in and then two, and two separate messages. Another person that must have saw the video, WinLink 2000 test. They might have done that on HF or VHF. But if I wanted to reply back to number two, the command is Y, the letter Y, and then the number. So WinLink or APRS link does all this in the behind the scenes. You're just sending Y, number two, space, and then your message. I can reply right from the radio here, and WinLink you know, takes care of the rest of it. So if I want a command list from the radio on RF, I just send a question mark. And you can see the confirmation there when it says winlink-1. You know that it heard your message. And it should come back with a message on my radio with all the commands that I could see as a shortcut to what I need to do.
and there's a message with all the commands there that you can do. Uh, well, there's more, but there's most of them there. So you can see uh, Y plus the number for res you know, reply to. Uh, R with the number would be read, you know, read number two, read number three. L would be list, and you can see on the website all the different commands for that. But even SMS, you can send a short message to an email right from here. SMS, space, the email address or alias, space, and a short message. Can't be too long. It's basically shorter. You know, give me a call. I'll see you there. Uh, looking good, sounding good on the FT2D. Uh, check out hamradioconcepts.com. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you got to put in there, you can get to it right from the front of your radio. So just some more fun stuff to show. Now, check this out. Uh, you know, this is just to show that APRS developed by Bob Bruninga, WB4APR, he did not develop APRS for watching. I read a comment one time on Eham, and the guy said, what a worthless waste of time watching someone drive to work every day. That is not what APRS was designed for. It is a tactical visual interactive use of information on ham radio it can be used for a multitude of things and again great for emergency but it's a hobby let's have fun with it let's experiment with it tell your friends that you can send a, a text message or an email from your walkie-talkie and make sure you use the word walkie-talkie because that'll really blow their mind if you tell them yeah i got a sophisticated radio they're gonna say yeah i got a sophisticated phone i love that comment too on my channel every time i could do the same thing from a phone and it takes less time well that's great but you know what you can't do it from a radio and you don't know how and you don't have a radio to do it <laughs> so one thing that this radio doesn't have is an actual hardware TNC built in. The D74 Alpha does. Now, I don't have a Kenwood, but um, you know you can use this for a lot of things on APRS. Now, I, I've showed this a multitude of times, this mobile-linked TNC. And w actually, what I forgot that I got for it a little while ago was that's the cable for the FT2D. So I can hook the mobile link to the FT2D and then I could use this functionality on my tablet, uh, you know, with the radio and have it on my tablet in the vehicle, send messages, have a bigger keyboard, have mapping right on there. So as it's coming in, it's taking the packets and the, the decoded, uh, the packet, the raw packets from APRS and it's turning it into uh, a language on this Bluetooth TNC, which is sending it over Bluetooth to my tablet, and the APRS Droid app puts it visually on your screen. So really a great a great thing in this radio and this hobby, APRS Link. So quick video showing you about that. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And yes, send me a message on APRS, KJ4YZI-7. You can check me out, you know, send me a message. Get used to it. Let's practice it on the radio. I'll try to send you a message back. Uh, send it on WinLink. Send it over APRS link. However you do it, I'll try to get back to you. And at least hopefully you have fun doing it. We experiment and uh, you can be a professional at it real quick. 7-3 <laughs> three guys. I got some little bit more stuff on APRS and, uh, and stuff coming in. So just trying to make the videos. And Christmas is coming, so hopefully Santa is good for everybody. You know, you got all your different things for radio that you've marked on your wish list. Hopefully your wife is treating you well, and hopefully Santa uh, fulfills your wish list as well. 7-3, guys. KJ4YZI.